Hey you guys, happy Sunday. So today I'm going to be, I guess, vlogging my Sunday night, my meal prep and all that stuff. So I went ahead and took a shower, put my hair up, got comfortable. I do have pants on, so, so um, I just got back from Kroger and the store and home goods and all that stuff. So basically I meal prep, it looks like I have no neck. Anyway, basically I meal prep my lunch mainly and then like my dinner I will meal prep too but usually I have fish for dinner and I usually cook that like at night for dinner like I don't meal prep my dinner really and I've started eating cod so today I went and got some cod but um, I don't want to cook the cod until tomorrow because cod the smell of it is so strong like it'll be smelling like fish in here for like a few days so I don't want to cook it until tomorrow so right now I'm just about to cook some asparagus and I got some thin cut chicken and let me tell you guys when I buy food I try to get the cheapest price ever um I look at when it's about to, oh, it's so shiny. I look at when it's about to expire. So um, this one was actually cheaper. It was $4.43 and this one was $4.35. No, four, yeah, 35 So basically, um, if it's about to expire, I either cook it that day or I will uh, put it in a freezer. I also went to Home Goods. I went and decided to go glass. <laughs> um, this is gonna be, I'm probably gonna get another one that's bigger, but for now, since it was $3.99 and I'm freaking poor, um, I'm gonna go ahead and use that. I usually will heat my food up in plastic um, at work, but I noticed like, let me see if I still have something. Like, bruh. Um, Here's one. So y'all, plastic is so bad for you to heat your food up in a microwave. Like my mom told me I did not listen, but it has chemicals and everything in it. So this is something, I used to use this. Look at this. Yeah, this, look at the plastic on it. It's clean, but look at the plastic. Like, do y'all see that? That is horrible horrible like i was eating out of the, i'm gonna throw it away i was eating out of this like so bad so bad so i decided to go glass um i got these at home goods so i got this one and then i got this one right here this one i'll be putting my oatmeal in and i got this one they did have like a nice well, they had a lot of them on Amazon, but I wanted it right now, and it's cheaper at Home Goods because I'm poor. So anyway, we're gonna get started into this cooking thing. So while I'm cooking, I'm gonna be drinking my apple cider vinegar. Will this thing please focus? Focus on the bottle. Focus. It doesn't want to focus today. Anyway, um, it's apple cider vinegar with cinnamon in it. It's really good. I like it. So right now, what I'm about to cook is the chicken, asparagus. I'm gonna put sweet potatoes in the microwave and some brown rice. And y'all look how cute my cooker is for my rice. How cute is this rice cooker? I just got it, I do not know how to use it. I'm about to find out. But look at it, it's pink, you guys. It was the last one. I hope it works. I got it at Home Goods. So, uh, I'm gonna plug it in. Oh my gosh, it works. Okay, so I guess I'll just like follow the direction. I'm about to Google it. Y'all, this is so cute. And then I got this too right here. It's a mini griddle. And you can put like egg or a burger or whatever you want in it and just close it and it cooks in. It's so cute. Okay, so basically today I will be cooking on this and Denzel DJ actually put me on to this so this is I got this off of Amazon I'll leave the link below but it's a an electric griddle and you basically it's like a grill I put it on 350 see focus 
focus okay don't focus but yeah it's electric grill so i just put it on there and i also have this egg cooker too from dash which i need to clean but basically you use this thing and you punch your holes in it at the bottom of the egg and then you put it on here put them in here turn it on and it will boil boil your eggs that fast so i use that in the morning got my seasonings my whole pantry full of seasonings yes so so we are about to get this cooking thing started okay so i just had to figure out how to use this rice cooker because i got it and it did not have the instructions in it so when i got it from home goods like you know how somebody tries to open up a box and they can't put it back together it was kind of like that so i should have checked but i didn't but i just looked online for the instructions and it's kind of self-explanatory so I have my rice cooking on there. I'm about to take this asparagus and rinse it. I'm gonna put it on there and I'm gonna season my chicken. Okay, so I'm about to take my bop, bop, chicken, chicken, bop, bop, chicken. I'm about to take my chicken. Why can I never open these things? You don't know stay? Okay. I'm about to open this and I'm going to season it and I was really trying to get the table you know in the picture but it's not working out that way so I'm going to eat there's four ounces I'll probably have like I might open both of them but I need to rinse them first so let me go rinse all my chicken off real quick Okay, so this is the chicken, um, and this is the leftover chicken. So um, I use like one and a half. So next week, I only have to buy one pack of chicken. And I'm gonna put this in the freezer. The reason I like to get thin cut sliced chicken is because the griddle thing, it helps it cook through, I guess, either side. So I'm gonna go ahead and season this. And what I season my chicken with is really like nothing that serious. I you know, some people are always like, don't use salt, don't use salt. I'm gonna use salt, like, I love using salt. So I'm gonna get my seasons out. Um, get some olive oil. Okay, um, garlic, parsley. Okay, so um, first I'm gonna take my olive oil and put it on the chicken. So put that on there so it has like something to stick to, I guess. That's what they say. I'm gonna use garlic powder and I'm basically running out of this one. So yeah, this is like done. Um, I also have minced garlic here from the farmer's market and I just washed my hands, you guys, so don't, don't worry, okay? Let's put that on there. Seasoning salt, you gotta have it. Like, oh my God, I'm running out. I just used the rest of my seasoning salt. And this is Obey. Put some Obey on it. And I'm going to put some more garlic on it. I'm just going to use... So this is garlic powder from Kroger. And this is garlic powder like from the farmer's market. And they're like completely different. Because this one's like literally fine. Like if I blow it, it will just go whoosh. Like it's very fine. Garlic powder but it's good, you know. So, and I'm gonna add some parsley flakes. I love parsley and basil so much, and I love having green in my food, so it's very important for me to have that. So I'm just gonna, well, before I do that, I'm gonna spray this thing. I just sprayed it with some Pam. And I'm gonna take my hands and only one hand actually and I'm just like mixing the chicken together 
nothing serious. I didn't put regular salt in it. All the salt is just from the like seasoning salt in Old Bay. And I'm gonna add some more Old Bay to it. And it should be good. So yeah, so it looks like this. So I'm gonna put this to the side and I'm gonna go ahead and rinse my asparagus. Um, usually when I get asparagus, I get steamed asparagus and I just put it on there. This time I got fresh asparagus, so I don't know if I'm supposed to cut the bottom part, but yeah, I'm gonna cut like a little bit off the bottom just for the heck of it, I guess. I don't know. I don't know. Okay, so I rinsed my garlic off. I'm gonna tell y'all something I do, a little secret, okay? So I'm gonna take this container. That's how I rinse my garlic off. I rinse my asparagus off. This container, I'm, it's not gonna fit, great. Need a bigger container, use this one over here. Just make them a little bit shorter. Make them fit. In the container. Okay, so. I put the asparagus in the container and I have my, I can't believe it's not butter. I'm just gonna pour this in here. And I did melt it a little bit. I'm gonna put the lid on and shake it up. Nothing, nothing wants to work with me today. Nothing, nothing wants to work with me. There we go. All right, and some olive oil. Yes. All right. Then I'm going to close thy lid and just shake it up so I can make sure it all got in there. And then I'm going to take some garlic powder and I did have a tiny bit left, so. Put the garlic powder in it. and some salt and I love the pink Himalayan sea salt so okay put the lid back on I'm gonna shake it up again so it's all mixed up and voila now we're ready to put it on the stove so this just helps it like season it with the salt and the I mean the butter and the olive oil and the salt and the garlic makes it stick so that's why I like to put on my asparagus okay so I'm gonna take my chicken here and just go ahead and lay it out on half Okay, so I'm letting my chicken sizzle, sizzle, sizzle. Um, turn it down just a little bit. But this should not take long to cook at all. And I have my asparagus over here. I'm about to put on after this is done. And my rice, and my rice cooker. Yep, yep. Delicioso, it's almost done. All right, well, everything else is um, cooking. I'm going to cut this watermelon up. Love more watermelon. And I cannot wait until it gets hot outside so the watermelon's like fresher. I put a potato in the microwave. Oh, nope, not ready yet. Three minutes. Um, 
So I'm gonna cut this up and hopefully I picked a good watermelon because like when I was in the store, I knocked on it and it sound good. And also another way to pick out a good watermelon is by looking at what side it laid on. And if it has like these lines and it's like a light color right there in that patch, it's sweeter. That's what that, that's what they told me, okay. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut this and I hope it's a good watermelon. I'm praying. I'm gonna cut my watermelon up. And it's pretty good. It's not like amazing right now, but it's sweet enough. So I cut it out into like cubes, like this. Who taught me how to cut a watermelon? I have no idea, but yeah. All right, the chicken is done. Um, trying to find a container to put it in that's clean. And I don't know right now. I don't know if it will fit in there. You know what? Okay, so I'm just gonna take the chicken out. So this is the chicken. It's design. I'm just gonna put it, turn this thing around. I'm just gonna put it into here. Right now, I don't have a lid for this container. But it's okay, so I'm gonna put in a different one in a second. So I'll put that to the side. And, <clears throat> excuse me. Oh, Jesus. Take some more Pam. <laughs> I'm gonna spray it again. And I'm gonna go ahead and put my asparagus in. Try to like lay it flat. All right, I'm gonna put the chicken in this container. Just gonna rinse it out. Okay, this is so hard to do and record at the same time. All right, so I put the chicken in here. I'm gonna taste a piece of it. Mmm. Mmm. Taste it. Oh, it's hot. I'm gonna put my potato, <clears throat> my little potato, in a plastic bag. So I'm probably gonna have it for dinner tomorrow with my fish and put that in there. The asparagus is cooking. Put my chicken in my little container I got. I definitely need to get a bigger one, but I think this will suffice for now. Check on the rice. It's so cute. So cute. So my rice cooker um, went off and I just tasted it and y'all like the rice is perfect. Like, ooh, foggy, ooh. <laughs> so the rice came out perfect. Oh my goodness. Little parsley flakes on the rice. Like it came out perfect you guys, like yes. So I'm gonna put it in here. This is gonna be my lunch for tomorrow. And I have my chicken, asparagus, and rice. And I don't care if my food touches. It really does not bother me. So, 
I'm supposed to be measuring how much rice I have, but that's what I'm gonna have because I don't want that many carbs. But this is my lunch for tomorrow in this little cute container. Oh my gosh, it's so cute. All right, so I'm basically done. So I'm basically done cooking everything. Um, I made my lunch for tomorrow, and then for breakfast, I just have oatmeal and I just get this oatmeal like this is like raw legit oatmeal okay like regular oatmeal <laughs> and I don't really measure it well I try to measure only one fourth cup of oatmeal dry I know that's like not a lot but like I can't even eat that much oatmeal and half a cup has 27 grams of carbs 150 calories so i basically just eat one fourth of a cup so i can split that in half um because another key to like me toning up and losing weight is lowering my carb intake so i'm just putting i really should measure this okay so i don't even know what my measuring thing is oh well i'm not gonna measure it then because I'm never, i putting it in this container and I never used this one before. So my other containers, I like know I can eye where to measure it. But this one, I can't. So this is all the oatmeal I'm going to have. And I like to put cinnamon in it. So I have some ground cinnamon from the farmer's market. I'm going to put my cinnamon and I also put this sugar in it and it's called sucanat and it's organic and it's much better the it's much bigger than regular sugar Let's see if I can like a couple pieces out. I don't know if y'all can see that. Y'all can't probably. It's not focusing. Focus on my hand. So if y'all can see that, it's like much bigger than regular sugar. But I put some of that in it. And then I also put blueberries in it. But I put the blueberries in after I heat it up in the microwave. So this is all the oatmeal I'm going to have. And I'm just going to close it. And put it next to the microwave so I can heat it up for the morning. Yeah, so for breakfast, I just have the oatmeal and I might have like a banana, some kind of fruit. Then I have my lunch and then I have a snack, which is probably gonna be my eggs. So I also boil my eggs in the morning and my little egg cooker. And then I have fruit and I'm gonna get my vitamins now. So my vitamins are in here and I'm gonna sit these out so I don't forget them. But I'll show you guys what's in there. So I have flaxseed oil right here and it has the triple omegas in it, um, vitamin D, green tea, apple cider vinegar, and CLA 1300, which I'm about to take this right now i'm about to take a whole bunch of these right now because i haven't taken them all day but if you guys want to know like what vitamins i take and why then i will do a video about that please let me know if you would like me to but yeah that's basically me just cooking on sunday trying to get my life together i hope you guys enjoyed this video let me know if you guys want another kind of video i don't know just let me know you know what i'm saying and I hope you guys have a great week and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.